What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back, Libra. <laughs> Do you see the smile on my face? Oh, that didn't feel real saying that. Um, wow. How are you guys? I missed you. Um, your girl's been going through a lot. This year has not been kind. That's all I'm going to say. But let's see what's coming in for you guys. I know you're excited. I know you've been waiting. Some of you probably thought I gave up. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I couldn't give this up. It's a whole lifestyle for me now. Current energy, seven of swords. Incoming, eight of swords. you got to be joking, am I? Have. Okay, Libra, there's some stuff going on. outside of your viewpoint, outside of your awareness is what I want to say. There could be some conversations people are having about you. Um, there could be some things people are doing that it's tower, moon, yeah. Somebody's pulling some things behind the scenes here outside of your awareness. Eight of swords, you're not going to like it. I couldn't come back with some good news. And the founder, oh, okay, there's the good news. You already knew. You already knew Queen of Cups, the intuitive one, the psychic one, the tarot reader, like, you already knew. If not, you had a very strong feeling and emotionally, you've already been pulling away from somebody. Cause like, you just know something's up. You know the alarm bells are going off. Yeah, in the recent past, um, not only did you have the awareness, you've had a lot of messages coming in. You've had a lot of I want to say informed thoughts. Informed thoughts. Yeah, so you've been pervy to this for a minute. Um, Libra, there's a past loved one that is heavy around you. Ten of Swords. Okay, that's good. Eights always go to the Ten, from the Eight of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Like, you're ready to put this behind you. You're ready to move on. It's almost like you were waiting for the concrete evidence that your man is cheating or your best friend is not your best friend and it's time to walk away. It's like you were just waiting for that last piece of, you know, it could even be admittance. Maybe you just needed this person to admit it. And you're like, all right, cool. I actually got a little bit of respect for you owning that, um, but not enough to keep this going after the amount of respect we're lost. Uh, has been lost from you doing it. So now you're seeking what it, what does make you happy because clearly this wasn't it. It is what it is. Thanks for the memories. On to the next. What is the near future energy to a swords? I have no idea. I have no idea. I didn't really think that far through the process here. Or maybe it's a, I don't know, maybe just what I've been thinking here. Two of Wands to the King of Swords. Two, two. Hmm. We also have eight, eight. We have that ten, ten. No alignments. Abundance. Closing out some chapters. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Oh, Libra. Libra, Libra. You didn't do this, though. You didn't do this. Somebody else made decisions that affected you, and you're just moving accordingly. Um... Nobody gets to be mad at you because their actions have consequences. <laughs> I, I really don't want some narcissistic turd 
to try to flip the script and make you the problem here. Obviously, you're not the problem. Actions have consequences. Like... What is... Should I do fierce worries, concerns, or blockage? Let's do blockage. No, oh, let's do both. Fuck it, right? So it's a fear, worry, concern, blockage. Oh, it's all wrapped into one here. Well, there it is. Fear, worry, concern. Things aren't adding up. Things aren't making sense. Something isn't what it was presented to be. Okay, um, it's probably a little more rough around the edges than what I was led to believe. And that's just where you're at. That's where you're at. That's the blockage. That's the fear, worry, concern. Um, you were worried that something's off. Your spidey senses have been going off. You know, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> that is a judge. I said wee woos. Somebody called the wee woos. Um, maybe this person is in jail. Ten of Swords is also here. This isn't looking good, guys. The Seven of Swords. This could also be seen as, for me, crimes. Committing crimes. Um, but the Eight of Swords, that's the jail card. It can be a mental prison, right, when you get trapped in your own thoughts. But this, especially when it's surrounded by so many other cards that also mean, like, police, authority, government, um, mm, and the Ten of Swords. So either this was a misdemeanor, somebody was just in the drunk tank for a, a day or two, um depending on if it was a weekend raid. They'll be out. They'll be out. Um, there's something malicious about this event. Either they used your car and now your car's an impound or something. Maybe... Um, you bail them out and then like their plan is to skip the court date that they have to go to um there's there's something very sketchy and untrustworthy about this person and the way that they move so this could also be a heads up for somebody to not put your stuff on the line for somebody else because like there's a really good chance they're not going to pull through and in order for you to be unscathed at the end of this, you need to remain protected on your toes with this one. Keep your head on a swivel because this person really does have some shady stuff going on behind your back. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, how's the universe view on all this, please? And thank you. So essentially this relationship, whatever this relationship is, that is the blockage right now. If you're wondering why you feel stuck and you can't move forward in your path um, spiritually and all that, this, this is why this is the negativity, the toxic energy that is holding you down. Um, for somebody else though, I am getting a toxic habit. Like you already know this, that's why you're struggling. And it might show up in a toxic relationship or a toxic something else happening. Um, that's the manifestation, like, getting more and more intense. Anyways, how the universe is viewing... Yeah, they see you not happy and wanting to do something about it, weighing out your options. Like, what can I do? Because, like, I have this role in my life. I have this position. I have this availability, right? But, like, all the applications aren't meeting the goals. Like, I find friends and then they're not my friend. I find out they're not my friend. You know what I mean? Um, I keep trying to get this type of job, but every time I go for this line of work, I end up dealing with um, crap employees or it's bad locations and I have to drive forever to get there and there's no places close to that to, to live. Um, like there's, there's all these little things that it's like the dollar store that shit adds up quick, faster than you realize. It adds up. I'm not saying you can't afford it. I'm just saying it adds up. So what is the goal here? 
for Libra. Three of Wands. So looking into the future, this is my four seers. Okay, this is for you guys that um, see things before they happen. Premonitions. What do they call it? Um, people that prophesy. Prophesize. Ace of Swords. Yes, that thing that you've been thinking, that path you've been wanting to take, it's different. It's not the line of work you're used to, but there is something that you don't have to move. It's really close. It's even going to pay you better. Maybe the benefits are better. The people that you work with are way nicer and happier. You even get to dress nicer. Like, there's less harsh working conditions specifically for somebody here, but you're shifting from one line of work to a different line of work. So like there's a major shift that's taking place here. If you're willing to take that, you know, if you're brave enough to do it, of course, because it's all up to you. I'm just saying what will happen if energy continues the way it's been. Right. And to help you understand what different paths actually look like so that you can better choose. Anyways, um, there's really something that you've been wanting to kick into gear, and this is your chance to do it. You just have to be looking in a different direction. There's a, there's a shift, a minor shift, right? Maybe instead of searching for friends, you're just going to work on um, building stronger connections with the, the friends you already have. Or um, you start spending I don't know maybe you get a pet instead of a partner maybe love is just not your thing right now and we need to take a break from dating and get a pet you know spend a lot of time with the pet go travel with the pet go you know what I mean like there's there's some kind of a shift that's happening but like you're gonna wind up in an even happier place like you oh that's what it was whatever you were asking for Libra you deserve so much more than that. So we could give you the simple mundane. You're not asking for much, but like, I think your team knows it's going to end up being very simple, mundane. You didn't ask for much. Therefore, you're not receiving much and you should be receiving much. You are the shift. That's what's happening here. When you decide to make a big shift, that's when you receive a big shift, right? Like your current position is comfortable, but there's something about your perception here that you want to, I'm hearing add some color, add some life, add some, it should be more. You need to dream bigger, Libra. You need to be dreaming bigger. Um, what's the potential outcome? And I say potential because if you don't like it, do something to shift the energy. Look at that. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. So instead of just asking for your seven of pentacles paycheck, you're getting the nine of pentacles, which is your paycheck and a bonus, maybe a couple of bonuses. Like this is also very independent. Notice how she's got a pet here, right? Notice all the different vibrant colors in this picture. I love how wild her hair is. It That, like, is the definition for wild and free. I love the girls with the curly that just let the curls be the curls, man. It's like, you know, and maybe that's why I'm a cat owner. Because sometimes cats be catting and it's craziness. But I'm just sitting back laughing because, like, the the pure entertainment, you know? Like... Just everything in its natural form. Yeah, see, it's more natural for you. Libra, I feel like you've been trying to be quaint. Um, but sweetheart, you're a sore thumb. You stand out. <laughs> you stand out. You're not a sore thumb. But your body is a temple. And you, sweetheart, are a trophy. You do deserve the top tier, the top shelf. You do deserve to get polished every couple of days. You do deserve to shine bright. Something about cancer energy is also really strong here. 
for you. I don't know if you're taking on more cancer energy or if there's a cancer of importance around you. That cancer season is um, a long ways out. So I don't, I don't think that's what it is. Then again, this could be encapsulating a moment that a year from now you look back and you're like, holy crap, I get it. If you even remember this reading by then, though. Anyways, at the bottom of the deck. Every king has his queen. I just don't think it's for right now. Notice how I held it up. I didn't realize. But they're like back to back facing away from each other. There could be the six degrees of separation going on here. Or um, oh ugh, that's as miserable as the twin flame journey, bro. I ain't even going to play with you. Six degrees of separation. As unironic as that is. Um... For others of you, though, this is like your person's already in your life and you have each other's backs. You're really smart here, Libra. I feel like people can't pull things over on you anymore. Um, somebody did try, but that was their own stupid decision. Um, again, it has consequences and you're not the bad guy for, for respecting yourself and your space. And there could be a habit linked to this, something you're doing or saying to yourself. Anyways, I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.